नमस्ते वेलकम टू द यू जी सी ई पाठशाला फॉर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट स्टडीज फॉर जैपनीज आई एम अनिता खन्ना एंड आई टीच जैपनीज लैंग्वेज लिटरेचर कल्चर इन जवाहरलाल नेहरू यूनिवर्सिटी टूडेज पेपर्स नेम इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू जैपनीज लिटरेचर प्री मॉडर्न जैपनीज लिटरेचर today we will study about the module on motori norinaga and the national learning national learning here stands for one of the schools called kokugaku which was formed and which flourished also as one of the intellectual movements of the second half of edo period let's have a look at the objective of this module in the second half of edo a number of intellectual movements appeared with the aim to do away with the growing chinese influence in the field of japanese thought and philosophy their aim was to revive the native ideologies associated with shinto which is the national religion of japan yet due to the absence of any written works or religious books associated with shinto they attempted to reinterpret it through the japanese classical works like kojiki manyoshu etc and named their movement or this school as the school of national learning which is kokugaku in japanese the main objective of this module is to understand the developments in this sphere with focus on the efforts of one of the greatest exponents of this school motori norinaga and his reason to uphold the ancient most japanese japanese classics as the sacred works of shinto worship what is shinto according to motori norinaga who is rated as one of the brilliant students of shinto I read the following quote in his words I do not yet understand the meaning of the term kami speaking in general however it may be said that kami signifies in the first place the deities of heaven and earth that appear in the ancient records and also the spirits of the shrines where they are worshiped it is hardly necessary to say that it includes human beings it also includes such objects as birds beasts trees plants seas mountains and so forth in ancient usage anything whatsoever which was outside the ordinary which possess superior power or which was all inspiring was called kami eminence here doesn't mean merely to the superiority of nobility goodness or meritorious deeds evil and mysterious things if they are extraordinary and dreadful are called kami it is needless to say that among human beings who are called kami the successive generation of sacred emperors are all included the fact that emperors are also called distant kami is because from the standpoint of common man they are far separated majestic and worthy of reverence 
in a lesser degree we find in the present as well as in ancient times the whole country yet in each province each village and each family there are human beings who are kami each one according to his own proper position the kami of the divine age were for the most part human beings of that time and because the people of that time were all kami it is called the age of gods this paragraph is taken from book called the national faith of japan whole tom as it is obvious here the shinto included animism shamanism fertility cults and worship of nature as well as ancestors and heroes in due course of time all these merged together and appeared to be the one that is shinto here one may wonder that why shinto which had all the elements of a well defined cult could not develop as the national religion of japan in other words why it had to face the adversities before it could become a national religion due to its successive ups and downs vis-a-vis the other religions like confucianism esoteric buddhism new confucianism christianity as we have seen in the history of japanese thought shinto had developed as a well structured religion but it lacked any written scriptures or teachings or philosophical thought therefore it had to be under the influence for centuries exerted by the confucianism and buddhism in the kokawa period or rather before that during the middle ages there were attempts to overcome this lacuna and a few works like shinto sho on the origin of japanese gods as well as its structure were formed but were developed but it could not be compared with confucianism and buddhism incidentally in 1176 a priest named cho ken wrote a buddhist text named genji ippon kyo the genji one volume sutra in this the text or scriptures of the various religions available were lined up in the order of hierarchy and here the buddhist texts take the top position then comes confucian texts third was the historical material fourth was the chinese literature or collections of chinese poetry and prose and the japanese texts were placed in the last fifth called japanese classical poetry and sixth vernacular tales and soshi like nikki or women's diaries and related writings in kana so it obviously shows that 
the chinese model not only literary but religious and philosophical texts and the buddhist scriptures here it is obvious that the top positions were occupied by buddhist scriptures and confucian texts historical compilations as well as bell's letters or bungaku and the two positions which were fifth and sixth and the last two positions were occupied by the japanese which was identified with the native culture of yamato it was also obvious and pointed that the top four categories all were of foreign origin primarily coming from china now this point of foreign origin was raised by the tokugawa intellectuals with the objection and they endeavored to form a movement called kokugaku or native study this was led by and motori norinaga was one of the active exponent of kokugaku movement norinaga was a medical expert by profession as a doctor he was interested in the profession but he was also deeply impressed by this movement of kokugaku when kamo mabuchi chanced to make a visit to his province as he was going to visit the famous isejingu shrine motori norinaga could have an audience arranged with kamo no mabuchi while he halted in a japanese inn in matsuzaka while returning from his journey motori norinaga visited him in the same evening as he halted and both sat throughout the night in the in discussing their viewpoints although kamano mabuchi had to resume his journey from the next morning but their meeting lasted till early morning and it fulfilled motori norinaga's long cherished wish to join and be a part of the kokugaku movement especially with the guidance from kamano mabuchi he embarked on the study of classical works he began with the famous novel genji monogatari by murasaki shikibu and commented and translated it in modern japanese and according to him it is this novel which is a true depiction of the sentiment of mono no aware which is said to be the root of japanese aesthetics or sensibility have an examined japanese poetry especially the famous poetry collection of kokin wakashu he at the age of 27 purchased a volume of kojiki along with a few other old korean classical works as well as chinese records on antiquity like Kyuji, Sendaiki, Honki, etc. at a bookstore dealing with the old books. This was the time when he was already reading Nihon Shoki. Also, he was completely engrossed in the movement of national learning. Kokugaku 
under the influence of his short encountered one night encounter with Kamono Mabuchi in Matsu Zaka. After one year, he wrote the work Kojiki Den and from 1764 onwards, he spent 35 years of writing. Muturi's study of Japanese classical works, especially the Kojiki, provided the theoretical foundation for the revival of Shinto in Edo period in order to highlight its originality and simplicity as compared to the Buddhism and Confucianism. Upon the interpretation of Shinto, he traced also the genuine spirit of Shinto and its origin, which he traced to ancient Japanese mythology and the sacred traditions transmitted from antiquity, Kyuji. Muturi also reaffirmed the ancient Japanese concept of Musubi, the mysterious power of all creation and growth, which became one of the main tenets of modern Shinto. Muturi Norinaga's 49-volume commentary on the ancient most Japanese classic Kojiki, completed in 1798 after 35 years of effort. And this work, named Kojiki Den, is incorporated in his collection Motori Norinaga Zenshu, comprising of 12 volumes. Regarding Musubi, which has become a part of Shinto religion and means the power of becoming or creating, has been explained by Motori Norinaga in his work, which is Tama Kushige, the precious comb box. Tama Kushige means untangle or take out the tangles with the comb. In other words, the intellectual confusion is set right and answered. In his precious comb box or Tamakushige, Muturi Norinaga upholds the traditional account of the divine creation of the age of gods given in Kojiki and supports the unembellished simplicity and criticizes the rationalistic cosmology of the Chinese as well as Buddhists. According to him, the sun goddess is universal deity as well as a national one for Japan. She is special for Japan because she has shown special favor to the Japanese and guides them to a special destiny. The true way is the same in every country and throughout the heaven and earth. This way, however, has been correctly transmitted only in our imperial land. In all foreign countries, its transmission was lost long ago, and so the tradition of foreign lands has no longer been the original right way. In Kojiki, he names three deities who appeared first to be associated with Musubi, Takami Musubi no Kami, who is related to the gods of heaven, Kami Musubi no Kami, sacred Musubi deity, related to the gods of the earth and 
Amino Mina Kanushi no Kami Heavenly Center Ruling Deity Some Shinto scholars hold that Mina Kanushi no Kami is the one who is the manifestation of all Shinto deities. He certainly was the pillar of national learning or Kukugaku tradition. Besides that, the other pillars among the four pillars is Azuma Maro, who was a lay priest of Inari Shrine in Kyoto. And he was critical of excessive influence of foreign doctrines, especially of Confucianism. And he ardently demanded the re-examination of Confucius text and for its fresh reappraisal. Next was Kamono Mapuchi, who was a guide or mentor to Mutori Norinaga. Kamano Mabuchi advocated the merits of research into the spirit of ancient Japan throughout his studies. Especially, he upheld Manyoshu, created its annotated version, and also wrote commentaries on Shinto prayers, Kagura, besides Manyoshu. And after Muturi Norinaga, the third pillar of national learning, the fourth scholar was considered to be a supporter of ancient ways and frequently expressed hostility to the Confucian and Buddhist scholars of the day. He emphasized on the Necessity to revere the emperor and in his works he has noted Indian and Chinese tradition given in Indozooshi, Morokoshi, Taikoden and these texts deal with the spirit of word. Also, Senkyo Ippun the strange tales of the land of immortals, etc. The efforts of these scholars of national learning or Kokugaku movement bore fruits later with the Meiji Restoration when Shinto was restored as the national religion of Japan.